out for my morning mile and a half stroll that I enjoy each day. And uh, of course, met with the snowy surprise today. Already been out with the DOG. She was not interested in staying outside any longer. Welcome to uh, chapel today with a nod to the English department with our use of alliteration. The theme of today's chapel is finding peace, patience, and purpose in times of problems and pain. Our opening prayer this morning will be the Lord's Prayer led by various high school staff members. Let's begin. Friends, the Lord be with you. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. We're now going to hear from Timothy High School students as they reflect on today's chapel theme. Finding peace, patience, and purpose in times of problems and pain. Prayer is powerful, especially during this time. God hears everything and knows everything that goes on down here, and he is concerned and worried about us. He has not left us. Ever, I know this is t like, no one wants to really hear this, but... Everything does happen according to God's will, the good and the bad. He works the good through the evil. So you really don't need to be concerned about anything. Don't worry. Don't stress out. It's going to be okay. God is in control. Do not forget that. And uh, I got a verse for you. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18 says, Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Just because it seems like the end of the world doesn't mean that it is. God is with us still. You don't have to be concerned. Don't worry. I know it's frightening time. I know that we're all worried for each other. But God is gonna make, God's going to get us through this. God may not have willed this for us, but he is going to get through this with us. Continue to pray. He answers prayer. We just have to be patient. One way that I find peace and comfort in times like this is through praise and thanksgiving. In circumstances like this, it's so easy to focus on the negatives, to focus on the quarantine, being, you know, stuck inside, not being able to go to school, not being able to see your friends, when instead we should really just be praising God because he is so great. One of my favorite verses is Psalm 126.3, which says, The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. And it really just puts everything in perspective because God is so great. He's done so many great things for us. We just celebrated Easter where he sent his son to die for us so that we can be with him forever. And that is something that is so worthy of praise. And he's blessed us in so many other ways. He's given us technology to be able to communicate with each other, to be able to do e-learning as much of a pain as it can be. It's a blessing. So instead of focusing on all of these things, we should be praising him because we know that he works all things together for good. And he has a plan in all of this. And we should be thanking him for every moment, as painful as it can be, because we know he has a plan. And when we truly rest in that, then we can find peace. So something I've noticed pretty recently is that uh, there's been a lot of change going on. You know, maybe some things we were looking forward to, they've been, uh, you know, pushed back or held back in some way. And some things that we like to do, you know, we can't really do anymore. I, for one, am, I'm missing school. I really am. And I'm missing to, uh, talking to you guys and going to English class, physics class, pretending to pay attention in calc. And uh, it's pretty hard pretty frustrating when we can't do those things. You know, we can't go out like we used to and we 
can't see our friends like we used to. It's tough. It really is. And, you know, I, I get it. Change isn't always bad. Sometimes it's, it's good. It really is, but I think a change like this one, it can be pretty hard to deal with. So, I just wanted to remind you guys that as much as the world changes, God doesn't. He's constant. And his love and his care for us, that's constant too. So, even though the world is changing, sometimes in ways that we don't like, God doesn't. He loves us. Always. And I think we can find some peace in that. When pain and suffering come into my life, it's really hard to trust God. And I start to worry, I start to become anxious, and I start to doubt um, His goodness and His faithfulness. And instead of doing those things, I need to remember to pray and to go straight to His Word. Um, in Psalm 145, David writes, the Lord is faithful to all his promises and loving toward all he has made. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. God meets our needs and we don't need to worry. Um, if we look back at um, what God has done in our lives when we've had previous experiences of pain and suffering, and, and we see how God has been able to transform that experience and we see the goodness that he's brought out of it, that should be enough to fully trust in him and to not doubt him. So I encourage you to pray and to read his word because that's where you're gonna find true peace and true comfort. The time where I had to experience some pain or some problems was definitely the beginning of this coronavirus season. On the first day, a lot of things were getting canceled. I had my DECA state trip canceled, which my group had what we thought was a really good shot at going to nationals, which would have been the first time uh, a Timothy group has gone to nationals for DECA. Um, my baseball spring break trip, which was a highlight for my last two years on the varsity baseball team. Uh, going back was something I was really looking forward to this year. Um, and the last thing on that first day that was canceled was basketball state. Uh, I had really enjoyed leading the red zone this year. Uh, it was definitely a highlight from my time in high school. But one of the things that hurt the most was having to understand the pain that my friends on that team uh, had to go through. Uh, I was I was a part of that team for a long time, and I know how hard those guys worked. And uh, having having that shot at a state title ripped away from them was something that I know really hurt them. And I don't know the pain they went through, but it it even hurt me. Um, and a few days later, when school was canceled indefinitely, I had my baseball season, my senior year baseball season, postponed or. Uh, canceled indefinitely also um that's that's a shot that has uh, really hurt throughout this time but those first thir first few days I was really really down um I was upset with God I didn't know what to do but there was a day I was just out and about driving and one of the one of my favorite Toby Mac songs came on, came on. it's called Hold On and some of the lyrics just really hit me. Um, right on the bridge, some of the lyrics are, Oh, how the Father does adore you. His love will never change. And you and I, we were born to follow the hope that will lead us to tomorrow. And no one can take that away. So hold on just another day or two. I can see the clouds are moving faster and the sun is breaking through. And that really hit me. It was like knowing that so many things in this world can be taken away from us, 
so many material things that we may find joy or happiness in, but the true thing we need to find joy and happiness in is the hope we have in Jesus Christ, the eternal life God has given us. Um, and that's something that no coronavirus can take away from us. So that's something that's really given me peace and patience in this time, knowing that my purpose is God's purpose and that I have something to look forward to that's not in this life where moth and rust can destroy, um, but where my treasure can be stored up forever. Hey, I would like to thank the students that uh, shared today. Uh, their words were wise and wonderful and faith-filled. In fact, I would encourage you to go back and re-watch their testimonies. Uh, now, before we close, uh, just some final words here. Have you ever thought about how surprised Jesus' disciples were again and again and again? Think about it. Each day, they did not know where they were going, what Jesus would say, what Jesus would do, or what people would do to Jesus. Their life with Jesus, full of surprises. Now, right before Jesus' death on the cross, he knew for his disciples this would be the greatest surprise Additionally, they would be filled with confusion, questioning, and grief. And in that setting, Jesus spoke these words of love and compassion to his disciples. This is from John 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And so, don't let your hearts be troubled. Troubled. Uh, later on in the chapter, Jesus talks about how he will be leaving his disciples and sending the Holy Spirit. His disciples must, must have been thinking, who is the Holy Spirit and why are you leaving? We want you here. And so Jesus tells them this, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. My friends, may you increase your capacity to trust in Jesus and to look to Jesus, and I pray that the peace of Jesus will fill your life in a new and a special way. Open yourselves up to God and receive his peace into you. Well, we're going to uh, close chapel uh, today. Uh, again, with our high school staff leading us in the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Forever and ever, amen. Hey, why do I have this on my head? I do not know. Ah. Anyway, thanks for watching Chapel today. Blessings and see you next time.